Hey watch people, this is Hector with Winding Crowns and today we have an um actually we have a review of the Fraser and Company. It's called the Visionary, it's here. But first, roll the intro. Hello watch people, my name is Hector and welcome to Winding Crowns. And we're back guys and I'm wearing the Islander ISL 98 automatic with the open heart. Really, really nice pinstripe dial. Anyway guys, all right guys, this is the watch we are talking about. It is the Visionary and this watch is in titanium. It does have some weight, but the weight is probably because of the movement and the crystals. It's got sapphire crystal front. There we got another one on the exhibition back. The movement is a Miota. The A, let's see, the Miota 8N24. It is a skeletonized movement. It is automatic. And I love the fact that you got the two sapphire glasses. The two sapphire glass front. And back guys you got the rounded one on the back and the big one the tonneau shaped big one on the front that's a really nice crystal there it has have a premium leather that is embossed to look kind of like croc and believe it or not guys even though this is a real fancy piece it still has a hundred meter water resistance nice. it does have like I said a titanium case let me open this up. It does have the deploy. I haven't taken off the plastic off of it, but it is PVD coated as well. Push buttons, dual push button on the sides releases it. You get your butterfly release. You do have one keeper that is stationary and then you have your floating keeper. It is, it is a nice strap. As you can see, I like the way that it's padded and thick, but it thins out right here where you're going to put the, the keeper and where you make connection with the clasp. And here, of course, you raise up on it right here and you can move it around, find the hole you want it in. It clicks into place and you're good. Real easy to adjust. Actually, guys, I really think this strap is really nice i like the grayish brownish grayish color to it i do like the way that the strap goes into the case you have a huge crown with the logo with the f there see that and believe it or not it unscrews this is a screw down crown you unscrew it there it is it pops wind it So there is no date, so you just pull it. You immediately engage the movement. Look at that. It moves so nice. Okay, let's just get that. Let's just go here. Push it in. You can screw it. First I'm winding it a little bit more, and then you push it in to screw. It's a huge crown. Look at that skeletonized movement that is gold tone you can see it from the other side as well with the little rotor that actually is skeletonized as well so you have a gold tone skeletonized movement and a skeletonized rotor it says sapphire fraser and company or fraser and company titanium guys titanium you can see that we let me click on this so you can there you can see it titanium look at that gold tone movement skeletonized and rotor see that really nice your dial is black with the loom indices as you can see those little rectangles and you see them on the hour and minute hand as well that chapter ring 
There's the hash marks and the 5, 10, 15, 20, and so forth. All the way around. You see the name of the company at the very top at 12. Let's get some dimensions on it now. All right, let's get this going. The thickness, it's a big boy. The thickness is 14.9. It's not as, as thick as I thought it was. 14.9. 57.1 at the lug to lug. So it's a big boy. Then you have at 22. 22 in between the lugs. 57 lug to lug 14 if I got 14 something in the depth thickness of the case and let's go across what is it millimeters across I have 44.3 44.2 that's if I just go on the case without the crown with the crown you're looking at 47.6 with the crown so it's a big watch guys but it's really really nice it kind of reminds me of like a richard mill you know richard mill however they say rm it's a pretty nice watch let's try the loom i like i do like the, the pvd hardware in the unboxing i showed you everything it came with it comes with a lot but let's check the loom out right quick All right, let's check out this loom. All right. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Wow. We have nothing at 12, but then we have the indice at 1, at 2, nothing at 3, then at 4, 5, nothing at 6. We have it at 7, 8, nothing at 9, 10, 11, and then... So all the... You have enough points on the dial that you could tell what is what. Then, of course, you have bright hour and minute hand. So that's not bad. I could tell the time easily here. Like just by looking at it here, you could tell that it's 10, around 10, 11, 10, 12. Very cool. Better than I thought. And kudos to them because on this type of watch, you would think that you would just not even try on the loom because, you know, with your skeletonized rotor and movement, you know, the case design you would be more on that and maybe you know not do too much on the loom department but they did they, they put some loom on it you can actually see this at night with no problem it's it's cool so if you like these type of uh richard mill style watches then yeah it's it's a great watch you get a lot of bang for buck for sure go check out the unboxing in fact right here where i'm pointing it'll be right there right now and you can see the unboxing and you'll see everything that came with this watch. It's amazing how much how much they give you for your money. Anyway, guys, thanks for being with me. If you enjoy this type of content, then please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you're notified of the next video. Tell your friends so they can subscribe. And leave a comment down below, guys. I really enjoy engaging with you. I always say that, but I mean it. Please leave a comment down below. And remember, never stop winding crime. Thanks, guys.